Here's how to connect your store to Shopify. You just go down to, once you log in, make sure you have um, products and categories, well, collections in there, at least one of each, or uh, you won't have anything to connect to. <laughs> um, so once you are sure you have those, go down here to settings, and then just click on apps and sales channels and then develop apps and let's just create a new one create an app up here just put whatever you want in here and click on create app Okay, and then you're going to get this screen here. <clears throat> and you're going to want to click Configure Admin API Scopes. Let's click on that. Do a search for products. And you're going to see this right here. You want to check both right products and read products. <clears throat> You'll also want to do a search for uh, read product listings and select both of these. And then this one is optional but you can also search for read underscore inventory and then select these two <clears throat> this is in case you need to uh, keep stock um, so, sort by the number of products you have and things like that and then you want to come up here and click save Okay, and then click on API credentials and click on this install app and read this. Okay, then click install. Now right here, you're going to see this reveal token once, and it, it really is just once. You'll never see this again. So once you reveal this, you want to copy paste it somewhere very secure, like in uh, uh, where you keep your passwords. Um, make sure you keep it out of reach of anyone. Um, so it is, it is only going to be available one time. So click that. And then you'll see this little copy thing. Just copy it. It'll tell you it's been copied here. Also, don't forget to copy the API key secret. Sorry, secret key right here. And the API secret key here. You can view that and you can copy both. Uh, I would recommend keeping that in the exact same place. Uh, Azure Admin API. Okay, so now you've got your app installed and all the information you need to connect it to the Sellers Bay app, which I'm going to show you next. In case you're worried, I all this information here is going to be deleted, so it's not going to be valid later. So no one's going to hack me. <laughs> so now back at the Shopify, I'm sorry, uh, Sellers Bay app, we're going to connect your store to what you just created on Shopify. So click on the Shopify dash and then Shopify connect. In this field, you want to enter your Shopify URL. 
You don't really want to enter your domain name here. You'll want the ending to be shop myshopify.com. That's the original that they give you. It'll be shown in the top left corner of the API credentials that we just looked at. So once you have that, enter that here. And then your API key, you want to enter here. And then your admin password, which is the one that's only shown to you one time. Make sure you're entering the right one there because there's a couple of different ones. But the admin API access token, which you only get to see once. You want to make sure you don't copy any spaces or anything. Just select the actual API token and then paste it in here. This right here is for um, if you have a store that is password protected from the front end. There is a basic password they usually give you that's automatically generated. You'll want to enter that in here. You'll find that pass password right here within, I'm back in Shopify now. So um, under online store preferences, and then you'll see your password right there. So you just copy that and then paste it right in here. And then once that's done, you should be able to click this button down here that says Connect Shopify Store. And then in a few seconds, it will be connected. And then you got successfully connected to Shopify. And now if you click this, uh, Import Products, you're going to have to go down here and then download your categories first. The reason this, the reason we download the categories first is so that you can selectively choose between categories without having to download everything at once. <clears throat> so let's download your categories. I've only, this is a test site, so I only have a few in here. So I'm going to select all and then come down here, download products in selected categories. And that's going to download them. Depending on how many you have, of course, it may take a while. There's a progress bar up here, but this is this is um, already done because not that many in there. But um, okay, so you got your products downloaded. Now this is kind of um, where you sort your products and you can selectively uh, filter and import only the ones you want to work with. There's an SEO status here that shows you if, if their SEO is bad, 2 out of 10 is bad. Um, you can view here <clears throat> and then import selectively or you can select all up here and just go ahead and click import selected and that's going to take all your products and put them on your Shopify dashboard right here okay so now you've got them all here ready to process now you can process them uh, 10 at a time Um, well, you can do more than that, but I recommend at the maximum 10 at a time to avoid timeouts because it is doing a lot of work. It's not only, it's writing the content, it's optimizing, it's creating links, it's doing a lot of stuff. So you want to make sure that you uh, don't do too much at once and just do 10 at a time, I would recommend. So let's see, we've got 8, 9, 10. And then you just click this process with AI. And you're going to get this progress bar here. And this, at this point, you probably want to go get a cup of coffee or something. Uh, it may take about 
maybe five minutes to do 10 products. Um, you know, it it's, like I said, it's doing a lot of work. Okay, so after we processed everything, we should see a new score over here showing much better results. And this, they're moved onto the stage tab in case you're looking for them. So it goes from import, imported products, it's moved over to stage after it's been processed. And on this section, um, you can, you know, nothing's been imported into your site. Nothing is touching your site at this point. This is all done on the application. <clears throat> the only time it goes to your Shopify store is when you click this button here, export to shop. The reason that is you can you can come on here into the staging section, you can preview it, and if you see anything wrong, you can click on this edit button and then just edit whatever you need. There's a space there, you can remove that. And then just click save and you can either export it from here or you can just go back to your this section here and export it here once you've done editing everything I recommend definitely going through each one briefly and just check you know in case you have like something in there you don't want like um, free shipping or whatever that you don't offer or the colors are wrong or something it's very rare but you do get that uh, you can get that with any any AI so uh, just go in here give it a quick check we've highly optimized this for uh, to find any errors and stuff um, and also specifically for SEO for e-commerce so the optimization should be good as is but if you do need to make edits, just um, make sure you know what you're doing because it's already been optimized. So anyway, once you're um, sure you like it, you just click this export to shop. It's going to warn you here that it goes, it's just a one, you can't reverse this and then click OK. And then it will send it back to your shop and then you, it goes into your exported products tab here. At this point, it's already in your um, Shopify store. You can preview it again if you want. Uh, it's already in your shop, so any further edits would be done in your shop. You just click on that button. It'll take you directly to that product within your store, and you can make any final edits or whatever you need. This is within Shopify now. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's very powerful for doing a lot of products at, at a lot, you know, very quickly and very accurately. If you need help at any point, um, <clears throat> you can reach out here, just click support. We'll even install it for you if needed at this time. I don't, in the future, it won't be like that, but. Um, currently, because we're just launching, you can get free support and free installation uh, if needed. But, you know, <laughs> try first if you don't mind. And then if you can't do it, just click this button here and we'll help you. Uh, if you need further instructions um, step by step, you can click on this Shopify imports uh, is it the import? No, sorry, it's the connect right here. Um, wait a minute. Connection details. Yeah, sorry, that is how you edit your connection. There is um, a section in here where it will help. Let's see. Yeah, documentation, sorry. Um, this will walk you through in basic steps, basically. Um, whether you're using Shopify or WooCommerce. This video is dedicated to Shopify, but uh, obviously we have other videos for WooCommerce. Um, you can click this view guide here and it will just give you a basic rundown of what I just told you. And this is a more detailed guide right here. And that will go through even more basics.
Uh, but really, it's a bit overkill. The video I just showed you is is basically all you need to know. But if you do uh, need more information, then you can go here. And if you do end up using and liking this um, application, please don't forget to upvote us on ProductHunt.com. Thank you.